Welcome back. You're watching NewsX. I'm Udhar Pratap Singh. The 4.0 magnitude earthquake in Delhi has raised a lot of questions and anxiety on whether Delhi will be hit by a stronger quake. Prime Minister Modi, who was the Chief Minister of Gujarat when the Bhuja earthquake hit, has urged people to stay calm and alert for possible aftershocks and also assured that authorities are closely monitoring the situation. So with Delhi being hit by one of its strongest tremors in recent time, let's examine the worst earthquakes that have hit Delhi, India and all of Asia. Let's quickly... Uh, Take a look now at, uh, of course, those details, which uh, we're going to, of course, put out for you. These have been the worst earthquakes, of course, uh, that have been felt by Delhi in the NCR region. So can we go to the first slide, please? Let's go top to the top. Okay. So August 27th, 1960 is when uh, uh, New Delhi had an earthquake of 6 magnitude. And in fact, 50 people were injured in that particular earthquake which has struck Delhi. Now, if we tell you about, can we just slow things down a bit? Let's just go back to the previous slide, please. Let's go back to the previous slide and let's tell our viewers about what happened in Moradabad. Let's quickly go back to the previous slide, if we can. Yes. Okay, I think we are. Let's just go back to the previous slide, please. Where, of course, you have a situation where after this, the next one, where Muradabad, of course, was the epicenter of the next earthquake, which happened uh, in uh, uh, Delhi, of course. And uh, 4.7, you can see, was the magnitude. That also was in 1960, August 27th, in fact. And 14 people died in that particular earthquake. Let's move on to the next uh, uh, earthquake, of course, which also occurred in the New Delhi NCR region. 5.2 was the severity. Thankfully, no casualties. It happened in March 5th. 2012. Then in 1994, in fact, July 29th to be precise, there was an earthquake uh, in New Delhi. The epicenter was a magnitude of 4.0 on the Richter scale, similar to what happened today. No casualties, thankfully, in 1994 in that quake. Then uh, there was another quake in 1956, October 10th, in fact. Uh, the epicenter was Khurja and the magnitude was 6.7. There were some injuries reported. The exact number is not known as a result of this particular quake. Now, if we tell you about the worst earthquakes all over India. Well, these are the worst earthquakes all over India. Of course, the one in Jammu and Kashmir, it happened in November 2005. The magnitude was 7.6 on the Richter scale. And there were about over 86,000 casualties as a result of that particular earthquake. In fact, November 2005 is when it had occurred. Uh, as I told you earlier, magnitude 7.6, over 86,000 casualties. This is the exact spot, of course, where that earthquake was reported. Now, quickly telling you about the one that has occurred in Bhuj, in Gujarat, in fact. January 2001, to be precise, 7.7 uh, .7 was this earthquake uh, severity on the, on the Richter scale. 13,805 plus people died in Bhuj in that horrific Gujarat earthquake. In Latur in Maharashtra in September 1993, another earthquake was reported. This was 6.2 on the Richter scale and 9,748 uh, people died as a result of that particular earthquake. Also in Uttarakhand, Uttarkashi, in October 1991, there was an earthquake. Uttarkashi was, of course, part of UP then. 6.8 was the severity on the Richter scale. About 768 to 2,000 people perished as a result of this particular quake. Also now, talking about the quake in Koina, December 1967 is when this was recorded. It was 6.6 .6 on the Richter scale and 180 people died as a result of that earthquake. Now let's tell you about the world's worst earthquakes. What are those? Well, the Shaanxi earthquake, of course, which occurred in China, is the worst of its kind because it happened in January, of course, uh, and uh, in January 1556. And as a result of it, 8,30,000 people died. The magnitude of that quake was 8.0 on the Richter scale. Also talking about now the earthquake that occurred in Nepal, the Nepal-Bihar earthquake, it uh, happened in 1934 in January and uh, it, it measured 8.1 on the Richter scale. 12,000 people died as a result of that particular quake. Meanwhile, uh, the Tangshan earthquake also stands out uh, as a horrific tragedy. Uh, it happened in July 1976. Death toll of over 6,55,000 people 
it uh, measured about 7.6 on the Richter scale. So severity was pretty intense there. Then the Indian Ocean earthquake, of course, which also became a tsunami. It happened in December 2004. Uh, death toll stands at 2,27,000 as a result of this. The magnitude of that was 9.1 on the Richter scale. Also, the Shiswan earthquake in May 2008, it happened, of course, uh, with a magnitude of 7.9 and 87,000 people uh, is what the death toll stood at as, as a result, of course, of that particular earthquake. So, uh, these are, of course, the worst earthquakes uh, that have occurred, of course, in the world, uh, in India and in Asia. And now, uh, let's quickly open this up to our uh, Panel that's joining us live, Dr. Naresh Kumar, seismologist, is live with us from the Vadia Institute of Dehradun. Himanshu Bhatt, senior journalist, is joining us live. Dr. Naveen Kumar Bhatnagar, former DIG NDRF, also joins the broadcast. Uh, let me uh, begin with you first, Dr. Naresh Kumar. Uh, we have, of course, seen another earthquake now in Delhi, uh, which has uh, shaken uh, the national capital, of course. Uh, thankfully, no casualties as a result of it. Uh, Dr. Naresh Kumar, earthquakes cannot be predicted. But how can one prepare for them? Yes, it is true that it cannot be predicted. But uh, we know uh, as uh, India has been divided into four seismic zoning maps. And we know that where the earthquake uh, are going to occur and where these uh, earthquake zones are there. So we must prepare according to that zone and uh, our buildings and structures that must be according to the earthquake resultant codes there. So that, that are the precautions we have to take. Uh, as you can say in the Himalayan region, we can expect a great earthquake, even eight magnitude earthquake. And also in NCR region, we can expect moderate magnitude earthquakes. So we must prepare according to that. Himanshu Bhatt, senior journalist, also with us live. Himanshu, now uh, the Prime Minister of India has today urged Delhi residents to be safe, uh, you know, to, to be careful, of course, as aftershocks can happen. He was the CM of Gujarat when that Bhuj earthquake struck. I'm sure you also remember it very, very closely. It's one of the worst that India has seen. Yes, we have witnessed it. We have, we have been the eyewitness of the whole thing. And we have seen, you know, it had its center point somewhere in Bachao. Bachao in Kach. And it did happen. And you know, the troubles were felt so far away that a building collapsed in a place like Surat, which is about five, six hundred kilometers away, and about 20 people died there in the debris. So it was quite heavy. But when you go and see this, you know, Bachao and the nearby areas of Kach. After the earthquake, you found it for 15 days, the rubbles. You know, people were finding dead bodies after dead bodies once you lift the rubbles. That was the situation. From that day in 2001, on 26th of January, we have come a long way. See, Gujarat government was very, very quick in setting up on the building law. They made it, you know, mandatory that, you know, buildings need to be earthquake proof. They has to be used, you know, they have to they have to use this material which is earthquake proof. Now nothing is earthquake proof. I will say that very clearly. But you know, it's a protection. And as you said, you know, you cannot forecast that today it will happen or tomorrow it will happen. You can just say, you know, it can happen in the near vicinity. It can happen in a few days time and you have to be prepared. I remember on 26th of January 2001, when the whole earth shook, I was in Surat and you know, there again, on a staying on a multi-story building, we had to run down, we had to run down at least four times on 26th of January with the aftershocks. Run down from 7th, 8th, 10th floor, all the way onto the ground. Now, that, then the panic sets in. So, for a common man, you know, it's very, very, very painstaking, you know. Because you see nothing happening, you know, after a few seconds, everything is back to normal. But you are sitting outside a, outside a multi-story building, say 20 feet or 30 feet, and you see that whole building, you know, oscillating. 
then you don't have that courage to go up in that building and live again. And we have seen people, you know, living in the open spaces for more than five, seven days. That was a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake, I think, if I remember it right. Now, in such a scenario, you know, when you have four and people panic, yes, people do panic. And that's why, you know, authorities need to, you know, cajole and console them and to be patient enough. See, you, you can lead to a stampede. If everybody starts running down the stairs on a multi-storied building, at the same time, it can lead to the stampede. People will have to be patient. People will have to do it quickly, but at the same time, apply their common sense. And that is what this natural disasters teach us. Because I see, in Gujarat, at least we have come a long way from that 2001 earthquake. Now, today, if you go in Kutch and see the way entire Kutch, Buj or Bachao or whatever the cities are, being built again, rebuilt again, if you see these new structures, and if you see these new things, you will remember that 2001 is a long back. In 25 years, we have made a lot of progress, but still when the natural disasters strike, you have to be cautious. That is what I will say, Uday. All right, let me in fact also uh, bring in Dr. Naveen Kumar Bhatnagar, former DIG NDRF, Dr. Naveen Bhatnagar. Uh, you know, which are the most risky uh, paths of India as far as earthquakes are concerned, which are those zones uh, which uh, have the highest, in, you know, uh, risk for earthquakes uh, and how can we try and protect those zones further? Actually, uh, one and two is not so risky. Three and four are uh, much more risky and five and above is really uh, tremendous and heavy losses will be there. So this our Delhi and NCR area comes under zone four. So in zone four, uh, so today I, I also felt it. I also experienced about this earthquake at 530, 535. Because that time I was doing the yoga in my house. So I have heard a very bad sound. And uh, this quake immediately came. And after one minute, one second, again, uh, this quake was felt by me. So I can say that uh, what I have uh, felt it, that people were running. Uh, already uh, there is a standing order and uh, already uh, it was told to everybody that uh, don't use lift, but people were using lift in the uh, high rise societies. And they were running also on the staircases where uh, as, as per the standing order and the instructions, they should not run. They should keep quiet and calm, peacefully, and uh, they should uh, uh, come down slowly, slowly. But in the high-rise building, I will say and suggest that uh, pe should, uh, people should not, or the residents should not uh, run uh, towards the ground floor. They should remain in their houses, in, <laughs> in their flats. In the corner side, they should sit, uh, sit and uh, uh, sit uh, in the corner and also keep uh, the uh, pillow or the hard top, uh, some uh, object on their heads to save their heads. And they should also keep distance from the windows. This uh, because uh, the uh, uh, this thing, your glasses will uh, damage and it will cut through your uh, damage. They will uh, give you the damage. So I mean to say uh, already as uh, our Purva, this spokesman told, and as well as uh, your reporter also reported. So anyhow, uh, this after this uh, NCR, it went to this uh, uh, Patna and uh, your uh, Odisha also. So there is a pressure. There is a pressure uh, of uh, due to that uh, built and uh, due to that that tectonic plates uh, were. Uh, really, uh, this created this uh, shock, and uh, uh, this sound came because it was to uh, upper side, five kilometer uh, near Dholakwa. So uh, this, uh, due to these boulders and movement of this uh, steam and pressure, uh, it happened. This sound came. So, uh, but anyhow, 
but uh, thank God uh, that uh, nothing had uh, happened badly because uh, we are especially uh, in uh, Delhi and CR in so many area are on the Jabna bed and uh, which are very, very risky. But uh, the buildings were uh, designed like that, that uh, it can easily sustain the jerk of the uh, magnitude uh, four. And uh, so there is no harm uh, like that. But in the case of magnitude uh, more than uh, five, six and above, definitely it, uh, there will be damage. And uh, moreover, uh, seven, eight, nine, really these buildings will also be collapsed. So we should all the time, we should uh, be ready for that because at present, we don't have the mechanism to uh, challenge or to find out the time and date uh, about this earthquake. Because uh, in the future, we can't say, but at present, there is no such uh, uh, mechanism or some uh, technologies there to find out the early warning system. But anyhow, uh, we should be ready for that. And uh, as I also experienced about it today, so our yes. security uh, staff should be well trained and they should immediately uh, put the alarm you know, so that other people should remain alert. But nobody alarmed this thing. So everybody should be trained, should give a deep uh, study and uh, deep all these things. And our scientists, as well as the uh, our leaders and the administration, they should take care about it. And also, they should not pass all the buildings like that. Otherwise, they should uh, make some audit and uh, some rectification in the buildings is, are required, as well as the trainings to the residents are required to be given, as well as the people who are residing in the cluster area, like uh, uh, it is uh, other area, Uttam Nagar likewise, Janakpuri, and uh, your other area where uh, there is no uh, Pakka building system and uh, the, there is no uh, such audit and all these things. People uh, making their building one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, building without passing the map. So it is very, very difficult, very, very dangerous. I assure you, I can tell you on this national television that uh, some or the other day, some havoc or the problem will come. It's my own experience because I have the rich experience about the rescue operation. So I can say that people should uh, be worried about it. Government should take care of all the preventive measures and they should warn the people who are unauthorized construction, their houses uh, without passing the map and uh, with the instruction, uh, this structural engineer and uh, the municipal corporation. So it should be stopped immediately. And uh, I will say, that uh, it's a warning to all the people residing in the LCR as well as uh, in the Haryana, Himachal, and the other places as in the Bihar also. So, and also in the all the hilly area, all the people should remain alert and the government should awake and they should issue the instructions to take care about it. Otherwise, what will happen after a stampede or this happening, uh, nobody can do something. Heavy loss will be there, but we should remain prepared about it. Yeah. Okay, let me in fact uh, quickly uh, take that across uh, to... Uh, okay, let me quickly in fact thank you all for joining us on the broadcast. We've run completely out of time. <laughs>